We're back to Daybreak Now. These are the, the last few weeks and days of classes for high school seniors who are getting ready to graduate. But it's also a bittersweet time for teachers and administrators around West Michigan who will also graduate to their next adventure. That includes two people in the Grand Rapids Christian School System who will leave some big shoes to fill this spring. People look at me like I'm crazy, but it's such an amazing position to be in. Joan Vanderwelp is the Dean of Students at Grand Rapids Christian High School for a few more weeks. I'm a little melancholy about it. My colleague, one of my colleagues said, make it nostalgic. Melancholy sounds so sad. Wow. <laughs> Dr. Mark Kromendyke is also thinking of everything he's going to miss when he's no longer the principal at the elementary's Iroquois campus. Now, Joan doesn't have this, but when I come to work, you got 100 kids wanting to hug me. His is a pre-K through fourth grade school. Wales. Dr. Krummendyke looks at himself as a sort of first responder. Every morning I come to work and I have the hose and the hat and I'm just waiting to see the fire. Those problem solving skills have helped him keep up with changing times. We're teaching first graders math that we used to teach third graders. He helped grow the school from 550 students when it opened nine years ago to more than 700 students today. Vanderwilp started out as a teacher at the high school in 1984. As an administrator, she helped oversee major projects, like building the DeVos Worship Center. Great is your faithfulness. At 45, I started this, so 35 when I started, 70 when I end. You know, it's just all kind of round numbers, so I love that. Besides those round numbers, the timing of her retirement means she gets to graduate with her grandson. Both of my kids came here as high schoolers, too, so it's just sort of that complete circle kind of thing. Dr. Kromendyke and Joan Vanderwilp are two of the 10 people retiring from the district this year with a combined experience of nearly 300 years. For every person that's leaving and taking all that experience with them, we've hired a vibrant, enthusiastic um, learner who is eager to step in. Even after 25 years of administration, I love it. If I weren't 70, I would want to stay longer. Um, but it's time to move on. Not time to slow down, though. She's <laughs> going to do carpentry, geology classes, volunteering at the hospital. She's got plenty to do. Dr. Kromendyke's going to travel. Somebody needs to remind her it's retirement. <laughs> they are still looking for a qualified lead custodian. That's okay. one position they haven't been able to fill. So if you know anyone. I mean, it's, it's so hard. I think of all the lives they've impacted in 290 years. That's yeah. just remarkable. All of that experience.